but Larry Elder has an absolute, not just a terrible take, but he doesn't get reality. If you can, you know, pretend reality isn't, but you can't ignore, you can ignore reality, but you can't ignore the consequences of reality. So here's a little video about Breonna Taylor, and he's going to talk about the misplaced outrage. He's more pissed off that, you know, people were mad at the cops and, you know, were protesting in the streets after this than he was about the gunning down and shooting of Breonna Taylor. Well, the Louisville grand jury declined, repeat, declined, to bring murder charges against the three white officers in connection with the shooting death of Louisville's Breonna Taylor. In the early morning hours of March 13th, officers from LNPD executed a search warrant at 3 East Springfield, Department 4. This was Miss Breonna Taylor's residence. The officers were advised by superiors to knock and announce their presence in serving this specific search warrant. So the Attorney General of Kentucky, Daniel Cameron, who used a, you know, racist dog whistle about them damned illegals. You're in Kentucky. You're in the middle of the damn country. What? The only illegals in Kentucky are the ones that are actually doing, you know, they're in the tobacco fields and the tomato fields and doing the damn work that nobody else in Kentucky is going to fucking do. So they're the hard workers doing the, get the fuck out of here. So what am I trying to say? Daniel Cameron was handpicked by Mitch motherfucking McConnell. So, handsome black man in a nice suit, Republican, oh man, all-star American right there. Yeah, guess what, the all-star American just said, what murder, what murder, Breonna Taylor, they, you know, she, she probably deserved it, you know, she probably, she didn't do the thing, didn't do the thing, she probably deserved it, right, she done, she was EMS, right, she's part of the EMS, she had the boyfriend and then got the, the new boyfriend, so she had the old boyfriend, you know, there's, what's up with that, right, she was, she was with the old boyfriend and they took him in with a bunch of, you know, that was one of the fucking horsemen of the apocalypse or some shit. So much for the lie put out by the Brianna Taylor family lawyer, Ben Crump, that the cops had the wrong address and that she was in her bed asleep when she was shot and killed. So he's going to say that it's a lie that she was in her bed, that she was shot and killed. That's true. She wasn't in her bed when they were shot and killed. They're pounding on her. They, she was Fred Hampton. They're fucking pounding on the fucking thing late at night, plain clothes, seven motherfuckers. You don't know who any of these rat bastards are. The boyfriend is a brand new boyfriend. So, yeah, I guess uh, now Kenneth Walker, I believe it's Kenneth Walker, he uh, comes up and he's protecting Brianna, you know, uh, Brianna Taylor. He loves Brianna Taylor, right? He's a brand new. No wonder, you know, she was so happy to find a Kenneth Walker, a nice, good, polite fucking man, a motherfucker that's not into drugs and gangbanging and attacking and murdering and shit. Wow, nice, you know, just a... So she found her, herself a nice fucking boyfriend. It, they come at after midnight, after, you know, after dark, after midnight. They fell asleep. You know, the TV was on, nice glow to the TV. So they were sleeping peacefully. That's what the fucking LMPD, plain clothes, in the middle of the goddamn night. And Larry Elder, when he sees this thing, he's like, well, the Nazis, the right-wing Confederate Nazis are on the right side. The damn Nazis, he can't see a fucking, a goddamn bad thing, a cop doing a bad thing. Uh, criticize a cop, you know. They asked him, do you think immigrants are humans? His son, Abby, his son, Piker, asked Larry Elder if he thought that immigrants were human beings. He seemed to kind of trip up over that and stumble over it. He was like, what, you think I think they're gerbils? No, we don't think that you think they're people. You don't humanize them. You're saying they're aliens, so therefore they got the, you know, you want to get rid of them or what have you, so... As outlined by the Kentucky AG, who happens to be black. Evidence shows that officers both knocked and announced their presence at the apartment. The officer's statements about their announcement are corroborated by an independent witness who was near in a proximity to apartment four. In other words, the warrant was not served as a no-knock warrant. When officers were not unable to get anyone to answer... So, right off the bat, the part of that's a lie. The warrant was a no-knock warrant, so they had a no-knock warrant. They didn't, they're in plain clothes after midnight. 
you're telling me they're saying that they're the cops. What are they doing in plain clothes? Why they got a no-knock warrant? What are they doing fucking creeping around at night with plain clothes and fucking no-knock warrants and shit? And you're telling me that they're like crystal clear. We're the cops. We are the police. They had cherries and berries of right, bright red and blue lights, right? Just clear as fucking day. They was the police. Everybody knew they was the police. No fucking doubt about it. No doubt about it. These second, seven creepy-ass plain clothes fucking psycho men. Remember, she had a bad boyfriend, so that means, who knows, he could have fucking been doing some shit. Kenneth Walker was there, oh shit, your shitty ass boyfriend that you had to deal with in the past is back. Nope, nope, not the shitty fucking boyfriend, it's the LM fucking motherfucking PD. Yeah, just like Joe Biden in Afghanistan and shit. Jesus Christ, right before we fucking get out of Afghanistan, going to have to kill a bunch of innocent civilians and children and allies. Oh my, fantastic. No, not really fucking what the fuck. So, <sighs> I'm going to try to give Larry Elder the benefit of the doubt. But the no-knock war, everybody said that nobody said that they announced. Only one motherfucker, his inconsistent account, when they asked him, the New York Times did a visual investigation, and they got him on recording that said he did not hear them announce themselves as police. And then weeks later, he said that he did. So, interesting how they're going to, you know, they're going to rely on that one inconsistent. They're going to rely on that one inconsistent witness. And then there's ten other witnesses that they ignore. All the other ten witnesses say that they did not announce. It wouldn't make any sense for them to announce. They're a bunch of, here's what they're doing, no-knock warrants. They're pounding on the fucking door and, right, trying to give them who the fuck wants to, uh, you know, answer that shit. And they're shouting at the top of their lungs, who is it? Who is it? Pound, 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 pound. Who is it? Who is it? They're yelling back, but they don't give a fuck. Then they kick the door down. Kenneth Walker gets scared, and he shoots the leg of Mattingly. Now, I think Mattingly was the same motherfucker that covered the same shit that happened to me in Louisville, Kentucky. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. You think that what? Motherfuckers committed crime against me, and nobody gave a shit. Nobody said a word about it. Nobody said that was wrong. Nobody gave a fuck. Got him flying fuck. And it didn't go well for me, so I wasted four years trying to get a goddamn justice through the court system, and it didn't work out. But, had people heeded my warning, Breonna Taylor would be alive today. Let's listen to Cameron fucking... Or open the door to apartment four. The decision was made to breach the door. After breaching the door, Sergeant Mattingly was the first and only officer to enter the residence. Sergeant Mattingly identified two individuals standing beside one another at the end of the hall, a male and a female. In his statement, he says that the male was holding a gun, arms extended, in a shooting stance. Sergeant Mattingly saw the man's gun fire, heard a boom, and immediately knew he was shot as a result of feeling heat in his upper thigh. Kenneth Walker fired the shot that hit Sergeant Mattingly, and there is no evidence to support that Sergeant Mattingly was hit by friendly fire from other officers. Mr. Walker admitted that he fired one shot and was the first to shoot. More to the story, when you shoot at cops, they tend to shoot back. I think it is worth repeating again that our investigation found that Mattingly and Cosgrove were justified in their use of force. So you heard Larry Elder, you know, say, uh, it tends to, when you shoot at cops, they shoot back. When you shoot at cops, they shoot back. Larry Elder doesn't seem to take the perspective of a black man civilian, a black civilian male. If Larry Elder is goddamn sleeping in the fucking bed, and he hears a loud knock at the door, and he says, who is it, and who is it? And they don't say who they are. They didn't announce police. They didn't say who the fuck they were. Who is it? Who is it? Pound, pound, pound. Pound, pound, pound. They're scared of death, right? White people scared of black folks, thinking that, that who knows, they could have. So anyways, pound, pound, pound. Who is it? Who is it? They're shouting. Who is it? Who is it? They don't say shit. They knock the door down. Big explosion. What the fuck? 
What the fuck is going on? Late at night, midnight, you got seven weird motherfuckers all in plain clothes. None of them have, you know, the lights, the red and blue lights. It's not clear that it's the cops whatsoever. You got seven fucking weird motherfuckers banging down your door, and it's, you know, about to come after you and your woman. It's about to, they're getting Fred Hampton. That's what the fuck is going on. They're getting Fred Hampton. So, no, she wasn't, she didn't get killed in her sleep. She was sleeping when they attacked, and they moved about 10 feet from their bed to the hallway. And that's as far as they got. And then she's going to die right there. So was she sleeping in her bed? No. Did she have a gun? No. Kenneth Walker, does he have a right to defend himself? You're goddamn right he does. You're goddamn right he does. And he only did was shoot one fucking time. If anything, his mistake was not emptying the goddamn clip out. Because... If he would have, then perhaps Brianna would still be alive today. Instead, he fired one shot, and just like Fred Hampton. There's one shot that goes out, and then 99 shots that go in. So there's 33 shots that go in. So one shot goes out, hits Mattingly in the leg, and then you have 23 shots coming from the doorway, about six motherfuckers shooting, and then one motherfucker goes outside, and he's shooting from the outside, shooting in the windows. And he said he was shooting at the gunfire, which means he was shooting at the police's gunfire. Shooting at the same police's gunfire, uh, his own team. One of them was shooting guns from the front door. He goes to the side, sees them shooting guns from the front door, and he shoots at them. And then those three bullets go to a neighbor's house, and it almost kills her five-year-old. There's a two-year-old straight north or straight, uh, you know, right above the apartment, but the one, they're going to sue him, this lady on the side, that almost killed her five-year-old kid, almost kills her man, and she calls 911, says, I need an explanation, because they blew out the patio door, so three bullets goes through Brianna Taylor's uh, apartment, goes through the wall, and almost, you know, hits random shit, including going through the glass patio door, of the neighbor of Breonna Taylor, and he's, they're going to sue, and they're going to make, they're going to get some money, and then the guy who did those shooting is going to get fired, because it's like, what the fuck are you shooting at, what the fuck are you, can't, Walker shot once, and then the cops shoot 22 times, and then some motherfucker says, oh shit, trigger happy motherfucker sees cops shooting, and thinks it's somebody else, and shoots at the cops, so the LMPD was shooting at each other, so, Larry Elder, I, I was going to try to give Larry Elder the goddamn benefits of doubt, Fuck! After having been fired upon by Kenneth Walker. During the last six months, we've all heard mention of possible charges that could be brought in this case. It's important to understand that all the charges that have been mentioned have specific meanings and ramifications. Criminal homicide encompasses the taking of a life by another. While there are six possible homicide charges under Kentucky law, in terms of being the wrong address, it was the right address because she was, there was a former boyfriend, but the entire circumstances had changed. She wasn't dating the fucking drug dealer no more. Who knows if he asked her to hold this or that or what have you. It was all over. She had her sister was staying there. Her sister had a daughter, and then she had, you know, Kenneth Walker. She changed her life completely. So everything the LMPD thought that they knew was 100% incorrect. Everything they thought they knew. Did the peaceful fucking atmosphere, that was it, it was just too damn quiet? They fucking lost their shit. They lost their shit and they killed a woman, an innocent woman that night. And for some reason, Larry Elder can't seem, he said Breonna Taylor, but I wanted him to say, everybody's, Philando Castile, Eric Gardner, say all their names, Larry Elder. These charges are not applicable to the facts before us because our investigation showed and the grand jury agreed that Mattingly and Cosgrove were justified in their return of deadly fire after having been fired upon by Kenneth Walker. Cosgrove, they asked him, what does he remember? And he goes, I don't remember nothing. I remember, you know, flashing and lights and flashing and gunshots, and I don't remember a damn thing. He shot 12 fucking rounds. He, he emptied his clip out. Mattingly got shot, he got scared, and then he was going to save Mattingly and just fucking kept firing like a wild fucking person. And then his report, which I think is bullshit, this is his fucking way to, but he's going to sit there and say, if you would have told him that he didn't shoot the gun, he would believe you, because he don't remember shooting, he don't remember the incident, he, don't, he just blacked out. 
one of the most fucking vital moments in his life, one of the most intense, craziest moments of his life, and he was just like, <clears throat> just went zombied. And his brain just turned the fuck off. I don't remember what the hell happened. Because guess what? Cosgrove NCs his clip. It was his fucking bullets that kills Breonna Taylor. But the Attorney General of Kentucky, little Mitch McConnell, little Mitch McConnell says, no, no, no. So it was the right address, and then they might have changed it at the end, but all the evidence I say uh, that I see says that it was a no-knock warrant, and they, it was a, they did out announce themselves, and it was the wrong address now that the situation had changed. And instead of, you know, evolving and saying, okay, this is not the scene we thought it was going to be, and saying, let's back the fuck up and think about what the hell's going on here. They just said, more gun power. And then there's 40 cop cars. Oh. Let me state that again. According to Kentucky law, the use of force by Mattingly and Cosgrove was justified to protect themselves. This justification bars us from pursuing criminal charges in Miss Brianna Taylor's death. So he needed to repeat that, so that way you understand. If a cop murders one of you motherfucking Kentuckians, you just got to take it. You just got to take it. The black attorney general just said that. He's a black man. He's an African-American black man. So therefore, you, that has to be fine, right? Uh, skin folk is not kin folk, and that what the, someone's going to say, and he's just pissed off. That's just so damned racist. But Daniel Cameron is providing cover for a fucking murder, a clear and blatant murder of Breonna Taylor. It's gross, it's disgusting. He's a right-winger. Mitch McConnell fucking selected him. He ran a racist, anti-immigrant ad when he was campaigning. So he looks good in a suit, looks handsome, speaks really well. You do a very good job uh, covering up for the criminals in the state. You're very good at covering up for the criminal cops there, Daniel Cameron. The truth is now before us. The facts have been examined and a grand jury comprised of our peers and fellow citizens has made a decision. So then we got Alton Sterling, Elijah McClain, uh, Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas had, hey, 911, boom. They thought that was a gun. The phone he called 911 with fucking Johnny Hurley up in with Denver or some shit in Colorado uh, comes up, shoots the gunman, and then they kill him, the hero that stopped the gunman. So they're killing heroes. They're killing people that's calling 911. Elijah McClain, he was wearing a mask before it was cool to wear a mask. Oh, but that was a black man wearing a mask before everybody else was wearing a mask. That's weird. He needed to be gunned down and killed. So say their names. Larry Elder, say Eliza McLean's name, say Philando Castile's name, say Johnny Hurley's name, say their name, say Tim Elliott, Lewis, Lewis Lee Olympke, John Paul Quintero, Matthew Hoffman, Ventura Alton Sterling, Philando Castile, Thomas Vandemark, Vincent Lee Ramos, Isaiah Strong, Eliza McLean, John Duden Heifer, Jesus Christ, say their fucking names, motherfucker. Jesus Christ, they don't even get a hashtag. They don't even get a name from Larry Elder. Breonna Taylor was a human. Breonna Taylor was a life. She was a life on this planet. And it's bullshit that the LMPD just straight up fucking Fred Hampton the shit out of her after midnight. It's fucking dark. They don't announce themselves. Seven weird white motherfuckers in plain clothes. They're just regular fucking guys. Regular fucking guys to come up to the fucking goddamn door. Kenneth Walker had every right not to fire one little dead tiny bullet into Mattingly's leg. Kenneth Walker had a right to go ahead and wipe out the whole fucking brigade. What is this? A goddamn, is this Iraq? You're sending a, a brigade, a fucking a squadron of troops, a dozen troops into somebody, uh, black couples, fucking sleeping quarters into the place where they're, you know, supposed to have all the safety the, of the, what, the rights of the person and the home and the, the effects, the Fourth Amendment and all that shit. Trying to give the Larry Elder the benefit of the doubt. Larry Elder, hurry up and come in and... Does not fit the mold of public opinion. Give me some common sense, Larry Elder. Give me some clarity, man. Standards. And the reaction on the part of many was predictable, swift, and angry. 
Well, listen, not only um, is he being intellectually dishonest about that, you know, I find all of his remarks with regards to this whole entire press conference offensive. And let me just speak to this whole celebrity influencer thing. While they can't speak for Kentuckians, let me say uh, here, CPS this say. This is a black woman. He does not speak for black folks. He's skin folk, but he is not kin folk. And so, a black woman was saying that, you know, he's skin folk, but not kin folk. And he's outraged about that. That's like Biden saying, if you don't vote. For him, you're not black. Okay. All right, let's give Larry Elder the benefit of the doubt. Let's give Larry Elder the benefit of the doubt. So, Breonna Taylor was involved with this drug deal. You had this seven fucking operation, seven man operation late at night. And he believes the Attorney General, the Attorney General comes out, lies about the no knock warrant thing. So, that's just a fucking flat out lie, right? So, but he believes every word. So, he believes the official version. The official version is. You know, they went in there, they announced themselves, they said who they were, and yet there was a gunshot. And then they, after they clearly announced themselves, they were the police. Then, damn Kenneth Walker, he didn't give a shit. He, he wanted to start a fucking war with the cops that night. He wasn't just protecting his, you know, his girlfriend that night. He wanted a war with the cops. So he knew seven motherfucking cops. He's like, fuck this shit. He's going to go out like Scarface, right? He's going to go out like goddamn uh, Grand Theft Auto. He, he, this is some, come on, give me a fucking break. Kenneth Walker thought, he was, thought they were being broken into. It's weird as fuck. That's not how cops are supposed to act. You know, back in the days when they were colonized in America and there was Native Americans and there was the French and the English and the Swedes and the, all these different colonies... All these European, your uh, imperializing, you know, colonists. The French would march right down the middle of the forest, and the Native Americans, even if it was their area, they were just so fucking impressed by that, you know, bravery, by that boldness that they just kind of stood, you know, took a step back. But if you were, it looks like they took over the fucking valley, right? They marched through your fucking thing and acted like this whole thing was theirs. That's what I like with the cops. You're the police. You have the police sirens. You got the police car. You got the badge. You got state power. You got unlimited state power. So be on the up and up, you creepy, weird motherfuckers. Don't go creepy, you know. You're supposed to try to do as, you know, you're not supposed to commit crimes to go catch criminals. So that means you can't, you know, you got to respect people's rights and shit. But at the same time, you got to go get after the criminals. So what's, what's my point? My point is, you know, Larry Hunter is more pissed off about broken windows than broken bones. He's more pissed off about, you know, the aftermath of some terrible thing that just happened instead of the thing that actually happened. So no justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. We're all supposed to just forget that Breonna Taylor, she didn't get shot, you know, in the middle of the night. It wasn't the wrong address, but it wasn't the right situation, and it kind of was the wrong address. And, it, you know, she didn't get shot at her fucking bed ten feet away from her bed. So she just barely woke up. She still had sleep crust in her eyes, just fell asleep to some, you know, to, to some old TV show. If there was a, a light glow on the TV, would they just fall asleep to... What, the Lion King? So they just fell asleep it was all sweetly and romantically together, thinking everything, okay, we're going to bed tonight, everything's going to be fun and dandy. Bang, 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 loud noise, who is it, who is it, what's going on, what the fuck's going on? They're side by side, he's posed, ready to fucking shoot at whoever comes in. She is scared, she is, wants Kenneth Walker to protect her, <laughs> and he does the best he can, what the fuck was he supposed to do? And then the aftermath of all this. So let's give him the benefit of the doubt. If he believes that the Attorney General and the official version, any fucking thing that they fucking say is just right and true, and the goddamn cops, the Nazi, Confederate, fucking fascist, the piece of shit puts a badge and a uniform on, and then they can commit no crimes whatsoever. Well, there's nothing I can say to a person like that anyways. I can't give him the benefit of the doubt because what the fuck? He just ignores so much fucking evidence. He ignores so much evidence. So the aftermath, right after, right, they kill Breonna Taylor, the Louisville Metro Police murders Breonna Taylor in her, you know, not in her sleep, but basically just, hey, woke her up. Hey, Breonna Taylor, wake up. What? Bang, 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 you're dead. Right? So they just woke her up. She just got out of bed, and they just shot her when she was, you know, strolling in the hallway. And um, right afterwards, you have the aftermath. You got 40 motherfucking cop cars. 
40 cop cars. I didn't see any LMPD that ever protected me. Not a single time did I ever see a cop and I was like, hey, good thing the cop are here motherfucking protecting us. No, but 40 motherfucking cop cars, what? Because Kenneth Walker fired one shot. Kenneth Walker fired a shot. Oh, shit, 40 fucking cop cars are lying down the street. Why? Because Kenneth Walker defended himself. Like I said, Kenneth Walker had a right to wipe out the entire brigade. Who the fuck are you, motherfuckers? You didn't announce yourself. He's got a right to defend himself. You're coming into his domain, into his home. Not only, I mean, stand your ground as if I'm on the street. I don't have a, you know, a duty to retreat. But if I'm in my own fucking home, where am I going to retreat to? No fucking way. Cancel all. Everything is on Kenneth Walker's side. Self-defense, cancel all. Everything's on Kenneth Walker's side. He's sitting there saying, my girlfriend is dead, he's trying to cry, but the cops are saying, I don't care, damn, just keep walking. Yelling at him, they got a dog barking like real fucking crazy, like, back it up, back it up, and the dog is barking like a fucking psycho. Basically just asking for Kenneth Walker to fuck up. Just fuck up, Kenneth Walker, trip. Just fucking make a motion, make a, uh, just a jerking motion that scares somebody. You're about to die. He says he's scared, and they just said, oh, you're scared. Yeah, right, like he's lying. No, he's telling the, what, are you scared of him? And then somebody said, have you been shot? And he said, no. And then somebody said, dang, oh, dang. These are the cops? These are the good guys? You just murdered a motherfucker, you KKK fucking evil sons of bitches. Kenneth Walker had a right to defend himself. Brianna Taylor had no reason. She worked with the EM EMS. She was on the side of the cops. She's on the side of the machine. She was on the side of the system. They didn't even search Breonna Taylor's place. Because guess what? This wasn't about drugs. This wasn't about drugs. This is about they fucked up and then they had to cover it all up. They found no drugs. They didn't even think to search it because, Jesus, y'all just fucked the whole thing up. No knock warrant announcer presence. Bull fucking shit. Bull fucking shit. Kenneth Walker was the first to shoot. Yeah, because you just kicked the door down and you're banging out and acting a goddamn fucking fool. Let's, you know, I try to give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's give Kenneth Walker the benefit of the doubt. He thinks there's goddamn fucking thieves outside. He thinks that there's some motherfucker rapist. He thinks it's that old boyfriend coming back. He's got to worry about her old boyfriend coming back and it's the goddamn cops. That's just like Afghanistan, ain't it? Civilians thinking it's the Taliban? Nope, it's the fucking Americans murdering innocent people. Thank goodness, right? Thank God the heroes are here. The LM fucking PD? Fuck the LM PD. I'm glad. I hope she gets some justice. Hope we all get some justice. Don't we all get traumatized when shit like this comes? And then Larry Elder? Say her fucking name. Say Breonna Taylor's name, Larry Elder. Larry Elder can't say Philando Castillo, Eric Gardner. Are they human? Do you even think they're human, Larry Elder? He said it was dark, no lights, he aimed down several times. Who is it? Who is it? Cameron wants to fucking say it's justified. What a stupid motherfucker. What a stupid motherfucker. Ten people say nobody heard the, them announce themselves, but one stupid asshole who said no to begin with and then changed his testimony. Well, ten people said that they didn't announce it, but this guy, you know, he's willing to lie. We paid him $100, so therefore, case closed. They're running damage control. They're covering up their fucking crimes. So that's what we need the police to go around murdering people and then covering up the fucking fact that they fucking murdered? How about wear your uniform, drive in a police car, we'll give you all the respect that you deserve. Don't go around murdering motherfuckers and covering that shit up. If one of your own covers, you know, murders, make sure you stop that shit. That's, is that you? Is that you? Is that what you guys are doing? Any of, you know, you go say thin blue line? Thin blue line, huh? So you wouldn't give a shit if I kicked your fucking door down in with six other motherfucking people in plain clothes? I'm wearing plain clothes right now. You don't know if I'm a cop. I could be the LMPD right now. So I come to your house, uh, seven of my guys come to your house in plain clothes, yelling at you, banging on the fucking door, ignoring all the things you're saying. Knock your door down. And then you shoot one of us in the leg, and then we just go to town. You don't see a problem with that, Larry Elder? You don't see what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. If that ain't right to do to, you know, goddamn Daniel Cameron, if we did that to Daniel Cameron, if the LMPD did it to him, you think he would have a problem with it? 
Yeah, yeah, but I guess he was born on the right side of the tracks, huh? If you're born on the wrong side of the tracks, then you just get shot, you know, while you're in your fucking apartment, you know, watching Lion King, huh? So the fucking things that they try to say, oh, wrong address. She wasn't sleeping. <coughs> she was just sleeping. Just woke up, huh? Bang, 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 bang. Now you're dead, so... Hell, she could have still been in a dreamlike state. Did she, did she ever actually fully wake up? Did she even know what happened? Because she was screaming, Ow, 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 ow. Got sick, sick, you know, shot six times. Justified. Forty fucking cops.